Hey everyone! I was going to do a great introduction with my cool new light for this video, but unfortunately it did not arrive even though it said it was delivered. So uh, I need to find out <laughs> all about that, but right now let's get to making our clothespin photo holder. I got some sandpaper to sand down the sharp edges of the wooden plank that I got from Michaels because a lot of the Michaels wood um, is unfinished and it gives a lot of splinters, so make sure you get some fine sandpaper to sand it down to a workable surface. I got some twine from Michaels, which I would suggest you actually get it from Walmart or your local grocery store because the price on this was absolutely ridiculous, but I did have a gift card, so I just bought it because I was there. I usually get both my paints and paint brushes from Michaels, mostly because I do like their line of paints and their paint brushes are really good and durable. I've had this one for about a year. I really loved this gold paint. I have not seen anything this metallic ever. So um, I decided to go with a bigger jar because I have a lot of projects in mind that I could use it for. You're also going to need for this project a high temperature glue gun. And when I mean high temperature, I mean high temperature because you are going to need this to hold up to any sort of weather conditions that could possibly happen. You'll also need good glue sticks. I got the glue, go, Gorilla Glue Sticks because it is for wood, metal, glass, and it really does hold up to the wear and tear. These clothes pins, I would also suggest you get them at a Walmart because the prices were ridiculous at Michaels, but like I said, I was there. You can also do some embellishments. I chose to get a grainy sandpaper to sand down some of the paint, and I also decided to use some pigments, uh, glitter, that you would actually use an embossing tool to heat. So the first thing I did was I sand down the board to make it a smoother surface so the paint actually goes on nice and smooth. And I did a couple of coats of this gold. I didn't want to bore you guys and show you the five coats I actually put on here. But this is the basis. What I always do, I start from one end to the other and I try to do long, short sweeping motions and then long sweeping motions so that you don't get any bubbles in your paint in random spots. You also want to make sure that you go in between um, the edges of the planks just so that you have a cohesive look and there's not regular wood peeking through. So here I took the embossing glitter and I'm just scattering it around. I'm actually going to cover this with another layer of paint so that when I go over, go over it with the sandpaper um, there is going to be some dimension because you are going to see various different sparkles popping through the paint. I did get out my embossing tool because it does melt the plastic glitter onto the board a lot better than just sticking it onto the paint. So it's more permanent and it's not going to rub off because if you just put glitter on it, it would rub off. Once again, I sanded that down to get a smooth, even surface and I started working on the clothespins. I painted them all gold. It really helped to stick them all on a paper plate and paint onto them. Um, it really helped more keep control of the mess because once you're done with the front side, you can flip over to the back side and they're on the paper plate, which keeps them still. Now I'm going to be adding some embellishments on to the clothespin and I am using some travel stickers because the memory board clothespin photo holder that I made is actually holding photos from my trip from when I went to um, England. And I tried to cut this part out, but it was really weird. I needed to change my PlayStation because me and my sister were actually watching a show the whole time I was doing this, so I did get distracted several times. So now what I'm going to do is add some decorative touches to the clothespins. I am going to uh, put some embossing glitter on them. So I used Mod Podge to coat a light layer and then I poured the embossing glitter onto the clothespin. I like to do it like this over a paper plate and then dump the excess back in. And then of course I got the embossing tool out and I melted the glitter onto it. So that way once again there's no rub off and it still keeps the sparkle and shimmer.
So now that I have them all finished, I have them lined up and I'm going to use the twine. Um, it didn't take me very long. I kind of had a general idea of how I wanted this to look, but you can definitely do it many ways. You can hang the twine vertically to get a different look, or you can even do more layers if you're deciding to do small, almost collage style pictures, which would be really cool. This is why you need a high temperature glue gun because we are actually going to glue the twine to the baseboard and you really want something that's sturdy and that's why I always recommend you have a high temperature glue gun. A regular temperature is great for smaller projects, something that's not as heavy duty, but you're going to want a high temperature just to be able to get that durability and that lasting effect that it's going to have. Okay guys, so this is the finished project with all of my pictures and my keepsake um, items that I got on my trip. Um, I was really, really happy with the end product of this. You can't really see it on camera and I'm really mad at UPS because they were supposed to deliver my light today and they didn't. Um, Cause you can't really see the sparkles under the light that I have in my room. Um, but it looks really, really nice and I really like this. Something like this at Michael's would cost you like $30, $40. Um, Honestly, guys, if you want me to make one for you, that's totally cool. I'd probably charge like just 20 or 15, depending on how um, much you want on it or how big the wood would be. But honestly, this was such a fun project. You can do it yourself and it's actually really inexpensive if you shop right. So I was really excited with how this came out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe, of course, um, so that you can get more awesome DIY videos.